Good morning, everybody. Today is a new day. I woke up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for that. Did you wake up this morning? If you did, say thank you, Lord, in the comments if you woke up this morning. If you woke up this morning, just say thank you, Lord. You feel me? Okay, so let me start off by saying hello, everyone. How are you doing? I had a good day today today i just woke up yeah i had a good day last night or yesterday or whatever today is sunday december 10th 2017 um i'm bringing out these videos because i want y'all to see more of me and how my days really go and stuff but i'm really coming to you guys to show y'all an overview of my bathroom and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will see a new bathroom maybe Maybe so we don't, we are, I already did a bathroom tour, but I'm gonna show y'all again just to refresh your mind, just in case at the end of this video my bathroom will be done. But I got some um, painting that I want my sons to do and some cleaning up that I need them to do because if y'all know I can't do everything. So um, because of my hands and I get tired quick, but uh, I'm finna show y'all what my bathroom looking like one more time. Okay, so I took some of the towels down because I started to do a DIY. And um, I believe in the last video that I said that though, that this shower curtain came from eBay. It did not. I'm sorry. I apologize. It came from Amazon. Now, you see that word glamour girl in the middle? Type that word in Amazon, glamour girl shower curtain. And... It should pop up because a lot of people were saying that they like my shower curtain. I'm going to come back and try to give you a full view of it. So, I'm getting, I'm putting this shower curtain up right now. You know, I'm tired of looking at it, but I'm going to keep it and do something else with it. These bath and body works candles here and all of this stuff here are getting ready to change. So, and look at the sink. It's just horrible. Just, child. It don't even look as organized as it did before. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we about to get ready to change all of this up, okay? So, this is my last overview. And I won't forget about this. Uh, this is what this looks like if you're standing, like, directly in front of the toilet. And over here, the mirror. And this picture and behind the shower I don't want to be in the picture today not my whole body anyway but anyway y'all um that's an overview of the bathroom okay so I forgot to show y'all the bathroom trash can this is it it was good you know a while back but now it had a strip at the top but I tore that off and we got some glue left. I'm going to take all this off. Ain't nothing wrong with the trash can. It's a good, sturdy trash can. But it just need some more life to it. You know, I'm going to just, it need to be cleaned and refreshed. I'm not buying a new trash can because, uh, uh, for what? <laughs> okay, y'all, this is, this is an old picture that I had in my kitchen. But, um, I don't have the wine theme in there anymore. So what I'm going to do is, I got rid of all the wine themes um, that was in my kitchen. And so I'm going to put this in the bathroom. This is a really big frame. It's kind of broke right here though. So I'm going to put some glue there. I'm probably just going to do it with a hot glue gun. This thing right here is kind of loose. And all of it's like, see it's, uh oh, it's kind of broke. A little tip coming off right here. But, what I'm going to do with it is, I'm going to have my son take it outside and spray paint it silver. And then, I'm going to put another picture frame in it. Hold on, hold on. Now, y'all remember this picture frame I showed y'all in the bathroom? Now, my plan is to put this picture frame inside of this. My plan is to spray paint this silver, all silver. Put this picture frame inside of it. Take this out, the middle of it out, and um, bling it some kind of way. I seen a picture on YouTube. I seen a tutorial 
on YouTube that I said I was going to go by. But I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use this frame or I might find another frame in the house. Because I'm not buying nothing new. I'm just using what I got. And the only thing I got is spray paint. So I'm just going to spray paint old stuff that I find around the house that I can use in another room. So I'm going to try to use this frame, but I'm not sure. It might be a little too heavy to glue on here and let it stay. I don't know, because this right here is just pretty much like board or whatever. But, uh, we're going to see. I'll come back and let y'all see how it turn out. Hey, y'all. I'm back. It's about to be a whole new day. Um, can somebody recommend me some something I could do for my hands if you, somebody that suffer with like hand pain, joint pain in your hands and in my feet, because... I have neuropathy in my hands and my feet. If anybody out there experienced having nerve damage in their hands and in their feet, please recommend me something because the, the pain medicine that they give me is not working. The doctor said that the pain could be permanent because it's nerve damage. And he said sometimes people get better, sometimes people don't, most time people don't. So um, if you if you're familiar with having pain in your hands, please let me know. I was thinking about getting some um, arthritis gloves and, you know, some diabetic socks. I don't know. Um, can somebody help me, please? Because the pain in my hands and feet is like sometimes it's unbearable. I can hardly walk and stuff a lot. But anyways, now that I've said that, please somebody help me comment below and let me know. Because all of this is new to me. I don't know what I'm doing. The doctor can't do nothing but give me some pills that, that, ain't, that ain't doing it. The pills that he gave me called GABA Pantin. I don't know how to spell it. And I also got like Motrin. Um, 500 milligram ibu ibuprofen, not 500, but 800 milligram ibuprofen, and it's not working. But anyways, I want to show y'all this. Um, that I got, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got this. Um, this is a picture frame. Sorry, I was shaky. Well, this is a picture frame that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I had already started working on this, so I cut the the back off the. You know what? What make the picture stand up? And I got these flowers. Now I should have got these flowers, cause now I'm mad that I got them because they don't match what I was trying to do. The red ones don't, but the silver ones do. Um, I thought they would bring some bling in the in the bathroom. You know, this right here, so I won't have to bling it out. And the only time you can find these these kind of flowers is during the winter time. And no, I'm not doing my bathroom for the winter at all. I'm doing it, hell, probably for the year, because y'all know once I get stuff, I'm keep it forever, like my pink. So, but I got this picture frame to show y'all what, this is what I did with the, the picture that I had previously showed y'all. I spray painted it, and it looks like this now. Hold on. It looks like this now. Uh, this is the thing that I cut off the back of that. So my plan was to glue this. My plan, my original plan was to glue that other mirror, but it was kind of heavy. And I don't want to take no chances of it falling off because um, it was kind of heavy. So I'm going to glue that to that. And I got some butterflies that I spray painted. They outside drying now. And, um... I'm going to fix this corner right here. I got a glued piece back on. So I got my hot glue ready for that. And um, my tray that was on the back of the toilet seat. Remember that, y'all? I spray painted that. Uh, so that's what it looks like. It had those rocks in it. And also my toilet paper uh, thing. I did get this from the Dollar Tree. And I blinged it out. But I did spray it silver. And when I sprayed it, I covered some of the diamonds in it. But it's okay because it looked better than what it did. You know. I might add a few more diamonds on it to make it just bling out a little bit more. And, um, but we'll see. This is just a regular Dollar Tree, the white one, uh, toilet paper holder. And I think that's all I got. But, yeah, that's all I got. And I got some bottles that I'm, I'm gonna bling out. Uh, but... Y'all will see in a minute. Because I'm going to put this together. 
I'm going to put this together and I'm going to come back. All I'm going to do with this is take this paper out that's in here. Flip it over so it'll be white because it's white on the other side. And um, then I'm going to glue the butterfly onto this. I linked the video to it that gave me the inspiration from it. Okay, y'all. I got my picture here. And my hands my hands are really hurting right now. So um, I got to stop doing what I was doing. But I'm going to show y'all uh, what I came up with. Or what I, I ain't come up with nothing yet. But this is what I did to it. This is hot glue. This board, this right here in the background was cardboard, so that way hot glue can work on. I forgot what you call it. Hot glue can work on the picture frames instead of what, Scooby? Which one? The little one or the big one? Oh, okay. Um. Excuse me, y'all, but this is a vlog, so we're not editing too much out of here. That was Scooby. Um, so, I was trying to say I didn't have to use E6000 because I was not sticking this, this frame onto glass. That's what I meant to say. I'm not sticking it onto glass. But by this being cardboard back here, I can go ahead and go ahead and use the hot glue. But if I was doing glass on glass, I would recommend using... E6000 along with the hot glue or E6000 by itself and allowing it to dry overnight. Okay, y'all. So, the bling I got, this roll of bling, I got this. Um, So, I was planning on putting like a strip of bling that was just around here. But when I laid this down, I was like, oh, oh. Oh, I should have spray painted that silver or something, that paper in there, but shoot, girl, I was like, oh, so I got that roll of bling, and I got this roll of bling, um, I had this for my wedding, this roll, I got this for my wedding, and this roll, I got this later on after the wedding, and this just something I had left over, and I'm gonna bling both of these out, and this is the butterfly that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, it was blue. It was blue and silver with peacock feathers. And I didn't know, I didn't want to, like, take everything off it, so I just spray painted the whole butterfly silver. And, uh, I spray painted this butterfly too. It was red, but then it's, it's cold outside, so I, I touched it before it dried, and it came off on my finger. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to spray both of these again, and, um let it dry a little bit longer because I didn't want to leave my stuff outside in the dark. And um so and then it's gonna be all solid silver. But tonight I'm just gonna glue <clears throat> glue some bling here and glue I'm probably gonna glue bling out this whole thing. It's just gonna be blingified up in the bathroom on this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this whole strip just like this right here. I know, I know it's a bit much but I like it. I know it's a bit much but I like it. I don't like the white background. If I would have painted this silver, then I wouldn't I wouldn't have bling this out in the middle. I probably wouldn't have bling this out. But since I left it white and I just flipped it over, I'm just gonna add some bling. But that's that wasn't my goal, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'll show y'all it when I get done, okay? If y'all got the general idea of how to decorate stuff already. Y'all don't need to see me glue this together. So it don't have to be a full-fledged DIY, right? Just cut this. It's, it's already in the roll. Um, and glue it down with the hot glue. Be careful with the hot glue. Don't burn your fingers. That's about the only rule I can tell you. You ain't got to go out and buy none of this stuff. You can just leave it silver. And you ain't got to spend no extra money but a dollar if you got a frame already, you know. Get some frames you got around your house and just glue some things together. I got to do a little touch up on this silver here with the glitter. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, I won't be finishing my bathroom today. It's going to take another video because I'm tired. And I'm trying to listen to my body. And my body say sit down. My doctor say, 
when, when my body tell me to stop, stop. He said, don't do too much and then crash. And so I'm, you know, trying not to do too much and then crash. But today is still Sunday, y'all. Um, Every order that I received on the bunny yesterday, Saturday... I got them all filled. Every order that I received on the bunnets on Sunday, I got them all ready to go. So I will be shipping out bunnets um, between tomorrow and Tuesday, okay? Stay tuned to my video because once I... I think I got like five more orders to complete and I will be doing a video as soon as, as, soon as I get done. I think I got about five more orders, four or five more. But as soon as I get done... Um, filling all the orders. I'm going to be shipping them out no later than Tuesday. Because I want y'all to get them for Christmas. No later than Tuesday. Hopefully Monday, okay? So, um, because I want to... And I, I, I felt real happy when I did the buns, but now I kind of feel like, oh my God, what are they going to think when they get them to their house? I hope nobody, you know, I hope everybody be happy. I just want y'all to be happy um, with the work that I've done. Even though, even though my hands hurt, my God, my God, my hands hurt so bad. If somebody can help me, please, please, uh, I just want to feel better, you know. Uh, taking chemotherapy that took a toll on me. Um, my hands, um, they go, they go numb, they go completely numb, especially like when I'm asleep and then I first wake up. I know I didn't make this video to complain, I came to vlog and all of this good stuff, but I can't even finish this work right now because my hands are hurting so bad, they're just in pain and like in my joints and stuff, and I don't have arthritis, I just have, no. it's called neuropathy, Google it. Um, Google it if you want it, you know. I don't know how you spell it. N-E-U-R-O-P-A-T-H-Y, something like that. But, yes, if somebody been through what I've been through, please help. <laughs> I just want to, you know, I like I like making stuff, so I want to have the abilities that I had back. I know that I might not never get them again, but I want to get close. You know, but anyways, y'all, that's all I got to say in this video. And um, when I get done with this picture frame, I'm going to just come back and show you the whole thing. Um, hopefully, you got the general idea of what I'm going to be doing. And uh, because I'm not, I can't finish it tonight because my hands like throbbing uh, from pain. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but they hurt. And my feet. And my feet, and I think it's because I went to Ross. I mean, not to Ross. Well, I went. I went to the Dollar Tree. Ross next to it. So, but I went to the Dollar Tree and got this picture frame and those flowers and stuff. And it's from walking through the store. I have a hard time walking through the store, y'all, and stuff. So, I don't want to complain. I just want my old self back. I ain't come here for this. <laughs> That's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.